subscribe to Fat and Broke. Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, you're gonna be getting married in Vietnam. What is the process like? We've talked about the paperwork, things like this already in previous videos. I probably will be lazy and not link you to those, to be honest with you, but they do exist, and I'll try to remember to link you to them at the end. So in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, getting fitted, what are you gonna wear, how much is everything, kinda, and uh, into that. So, a little bit of a breakdown. First things first, uh, we're not gonna talk too much about like what a wedding costs at a place, because that's wildly gonna be dependent on uh, where you have the wedding. It can be though as little as, yeah, I've seen people have them for as little as 2,000, and uh, it get as expensive as five, 10, 15, 20, 25. One of my buddies had a $30,000 wedding here. He's a rich dude though, like a rich old guy. So that can be wildly all over the price. The place, uh, you know, as far as it being like actual wedding prices and things you have to go do as the groom, I didn't go look at her, go with her to look at dresses. I don't want to see what her dress looks like. Pick that out on your own. I know this dudes in Vietnam go with their wife to go pick out the dress. Maybe they do in America too, but I'm sure don't want to do that. I'd rather see it when we get married on that day. So I didn't go do that and waste hours of her trying on a dress. She went with her friends and they figured that stuff out as it should be. As far as me getting uh, fitted for something, I went and got measured for a suit. You know, it took about, it took about 15 minutes to get measured for the suit, very simple. They show you a bunch of colors, they give you a bunch of different suit designs. I actually chose the suit with the stream that's on my shoulder right now, my Predator defense mechanism. Me and the stream decided to pick a suit, so that's what we did. If you do want to watch me live stream, I live stream exclusively at kick.com forward slash fat and broke. It's free to go on over there. It's just like Twitch, please do. So quick measurement for the suit, a pick out of the suit, suit picked out, very quick process. Really? I think that's all I've done. As far as looking at uh, places to go, uh, like for the wedding, where it's gonna be held, I looked at five or six places. I went and did it on my own while she was at work. And then once I narrowed it down to three places, we went and looked at the three together. And then we anonymously, unanimously picked the one together pretty much at the same time. So that was pretty easy too. I think there's more stress for her. I mean, that's all I've really done. Whatever she asked me to go do, I'll go do. So if she needs me to go run some errands and stuff like that. You're gonna need to take pictures, so you'll hire a camera guy and go take pictures like a, up to two weeks before the wedding. So you can do that. Hold on, I gotta, I'll be right back. Pictures, pictures, pictures. As I was saying, you're gonna be taking pictures. Uh, you'll come probably to Pay, and you'll take pictures here. You might go over to the wharf across the street. You're gonna take pictures at famous locations, the cathedral, government building, you know. Me and Winnie's are gonna take ours in front of the lady bars in Pitexico. Ha uh, 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 Joking. But uh, you can take them in all the different uh, monuments around Saigon, essentially, is the popular thing to do. I'm excited to do that now because, well, I'm not gonna look like a fat tart in the photos. If I would have decided not to lose any weight, I would have been very unhappy with uh, with taking photos in the wedding and stuff. I knew I had to, to drop that 20 pounds quick and thankfully we were able to do it. So that's gonna make the wedding infinitely better. If you are a fat ass and you're gonna get married, start losing weight so you don't look like a fat ass in your photos. So, pro tip. The other thing that is gonna be a little bit different uh, to an American wedding is there's not traditionally a DJ at a Vietnamese wedding. They traditionally have a song and dance, and like the family will do songs and dance, like performance shows. Well, that's what Winnie's family does. At my wedding, I will be DJing a few hits, but I will also have one of my, uh, one of the girls from my DJ team there DJing as well. So it's gonna be like an EDM rave wedding. So it should be really fun. 
you are definitely gonna spend some money. Uh, if you calculate everything right, you should make your money back. Are you gonna get rich off this thing? I mean, unless she has, and you know a huge amount of people and can get like 500 to 1,000 people there. Those seem to be the ones that make a lot of money, but you gotta be a socialite for that type of shit. Your average Vietnamese is gonna have two to 400. So 500, like uh, Wynn's brothers are pretty popular, so they both had 500. And they each profited from their wedding, but they did it at the same place, the same like generic food, the same like everything. Like their wedding was nice, but like ours should be significantly better about uh, about most of that stuff, like the food and all that. So again, a lot of it's going to be what your wife likes. For the most part, I would just defer to what she wants. You know, these are things that you don't want to fight about, or nor do you need to be the one picking these things. Let her have her day with this stuff. You know, on stuff like that, pick shit that you want to, like, battle for. On shit like this, boys, it's their day, so just let them have kind of whatever they want. Of course, you need to set a budget and stick to a budget, which, unfortunately, uh, we're, we're not doing the best job of right now, but it's okay. It's only one marriage in a lifetime, right? Yeah? So, potentially, this should only happen a really one time. There is hundreds of venues to get married at though around Saigon. So just the venue picking alone can take a while. Again, the suit, very quick. What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm shooting a vlog right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm a YouTuber. Cool. I was wondering if you didn't any help. Right now, no, I'm in the middle of a dialogue. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. You too, brother. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, I fucked up my dialogue. Where was I at? Where were we at? So as I was saying, the venues can take a very, very long time to pick if if you uh, let it. And it can often lead to expenses that aren't needed. So clamp down the venue. Make sure she's happy. This is her day. You don't really need to pick much. Keep it inside of a budget. It is fun. The traditional Vietnamese wedding in the morning takes about two hours. You drive to each person's house. It's very straightforward, very simple. Like I said, it takes two hours. They, you do some little thing at the table with the parents at each house. Like it takes 15 minutes at each place. Pretty much the vows. And then uh, that's it. I mean, it's super straightforward. The thing at night is two and a half hours like that. It's They're on a schedule, so there is no five hour reception like America, six hour reception and uh, stuff like that. So. That is the video. If you do want to support me in additional ways, you can jump on over to patreon.com forward slash fat and broke. We've got lots of additional videos over there. You can also have direct access to me. So if you want to chop it up, that's the way to do it. And it's just a really, really great way to support me. You know, I use the Patreon this month towards my rent. So, I mean, it is of great help and value to me. I appreciate everybody on there. As ever, stay frosty. We shall see you on the next one. Peace out.